Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay, and this part of the video is sponsored, in fact, by Yumi Digi. This is the Yumi Digi A7 Pro. This is going to come in two colors a blue called Ocean Blue, and there's a black with Cosmic Black. This is the current design of flagships today. This phone has 6.3 inch full issue display, as you can see there, 19 by 5 by 9. The metal frame is going to be ready to go. I think you guys will really enjoy this one. I can't wait to get my hands on it. So in all fashion, you know there's going to be a giveaway for this device. So check the links in the description. Also, hit the link in the description to just drop this in your cart like always and wait for that big discount to hit. This should be launching around May 26th. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, some content on this coming down the line. There should be several models with Type-C, 256 gigs, SD card up to, I mean, Voice over LTE, 4G. What more could you want? Remember, May 26 is when this is supposed to drop. So, uh, yeah, that huge battery is going to be nice. So drop this in your cart. Hit those links in the description and look for your discount. It's your man, Jay. Let's get to this video. All right, guys, the moment of truth. How is the OnePlus 8 battery? So I've been using this device for, it's been a week already, I think it has been, or more. It's probably been a little bit longer than a week, I'm not sure. Uh, but I will tell you that the battery life on this thing is impressive. It, in fact, gives me easily, easily seven and a half to eight hours on every single charge. Literally, on every single charge, I'm pulling down at least seven hours of screen on time closer to seven hours and 30 minutes or seven hours and 45 minutes that is what the battery is looking like so some of you guys are wondering well jay how are you running it i'm running it on the 90 hertz uh i've i've left it on the 90 hertz i don't and, and also um i don't have my glasses on so hopefully i'm in the right spot uh but also um so you can see there it's on 90 hertz it's been on 90 hertz it came on 90 hertz out of the box and i just didn't bother to change it so that is impressive. I have it at 90 hertz. I have it set to vivid because this this is actually how it came out of the box, honestly. So I didn't. I just looked in here, changed, saw it, and I thought, you know, okay, I'll leave it like that, and haven't been back in there since. But um, 90 hertz, everything's syncing. I have I have approximately five emails syncing to this device, and they sync. I get hundreds of emails per day, um, easily between 100 to 300 emails a day. Uh, easily I mean, it's more than that sometimes but I'm getting at least that and um, I, I think that uh, when it comes to how your your device performs for battery that solely depends on what you're doing on your device what you have on your device you know how you have your device set up it's just, it's just too much that goes into it so again I um I have it set up with 90 hertz vivid and I've been keeping the brightness, believe it or not, closer to 100. Even though it's on auto, I'll just crank it up sometimes. I've been getting kind of used to that. So I want to give you guys a quick update on the battery. The battery is impressive, man. It is it is impressive, to say the least. No problems whatsoever with the battery. I like that I can charge this phone. Now, it, does, it doesn't last as long as my Moto G, obviously. It's getting, the Moto G is getting double everything. The, the Moto G is pretty much double the battery life of this. 16 hours of screen on time. And, you know, three days of use. This is getting closer to a day and 12 hours or a day and eight hours with, you know, almost eight hours of screen on time every time. And that is impressive. So um, real brief and to the point, I wanted to make sure you guys knew that I've really been enjoying the OnePlus 8. Uh, and uh, I think it's good, man. I think it's a good thing to, to, to see that, you know, phones with these higher processors in them, you know, this Snapdragon 865, the 90 hertz display, you know, this has a 4,300 milliamp hour battery inside, so I would hope that it get at least some good battery, but sometimes that's not the case. So this phone has broken down to be, and it's been a week, so it'll, it should get a little bit better over time. Uh, but again, I'm really hoping uh, that I get some stellar battery out of this thing. I, I really am. I'm, I'm hoping that it really uh, brings it home and, and I, I can see this incredible battery life. Probably won't. Again, it's not going to be as close to the Moto uh, G Power, but still, for the for the 4300 milliamp hour battery that it has, eight hours of screen on time almost regularly is fantastic. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your man Jay. Take care.